and then you're all set. So I'll take this. There's two kinds of passports. Um, one is a, uh, a visa passport, and you basically answer a question or receive a fact, and you can go through into another place here. Um, and then this one is basically a get your attention passport. So this would be distributed in another part of the museum by someone that just walks around and hands it off. And then they're to report here. I mean, like a like a, a passport to get in. Did good. Oh, oh. Ah! See the show, you basically answer a question to attain a passport to give you access. So you can pick a question from in here. And the question is... As the artist, is that what your goal is, is to attract and repulse your, uh, your viewer or your, your visitor or the person who's experiencing your work? And I would say as long as you have someone engaged, that would be the objective. So this would be a good way of doing it. Does art have to be beautiful? In one word, has to have meaning. I'm not good at pronouncing names, but it says, please pronounce the artist's name. Um, Forker D. John Hong John. Something like that. Mine is, can styrofoam be recycled? Well, yes, it can be recycled because it can be used to create all sorts of things like art. Do I think I can pick it up? I think so, yeah. Do you have a fact or do you have a question? A qu it's sort of a question. It's like a statement that I have to answer. Okay. You ready? Yes. All right, here we go. Name three things styrofoam is used for. Uh, boogie boards, uh, cups, and uh, dashboard. Like, I think that's styrofoam on the inside of dashboards. Please walk through and come back to this entrance and tell us one thing you like about the installation. I guess I like the, uh, the biggest one with the man in the middle of the room. Uh, I thought it was really creative how he was able to get all the styrofoam all to stick together and then take the spray foam that dried up and hardened and got it to form into different shapes, like the hands and the face. I mean, the second time looking at it, the things that would struck me as new was uh, definitely the colorful, the color of the styrofoam, and it was both colorful the so-called victim as well as the the uh, people shooting him, and and those colors kind of mask a lot of brutality in the face, especially with the soldiers. But even the guy who was getting hit, you would think he would be in pain. He had a kind of a stupid expression on his face, like. Uh, like he didn't know any better that war was brutal or something. It's, it just seemed like a very interesting uh, victim. You know, he seemed like he wasn't that sympathetic, actually. <laughs> yes, this has meaning. This is a contemporary style. It's a new style of how to uh, bring the best out things that do have a meaning. I would say, when you look at old sculptures, such as this one right here, uh, they did it differently. This is a contemporary form. And he put it in his words. I think he did a wonderful job.